my name is Katie Tiedke. I'm one of the transplant dietitians here at Mayo Clinic Rochester. Today I'm going to be talking to you about weight management and weight management related to your kidney donation. It's important to try to get yourself in good shape prior to surgery, but also long term trying to maintain a healthy weight so that you don't develop diseases that could affect your kidney. Um, when you think about weight management, it's a pretty simple concept. Really, we got to kind of balance the amount of calories that we take in with the amount of calories that we burn or if you're trying to lose weight, take in less calories than what we burn in the day. Um, calories in versus calories out, just think of it that way. When it comes to weight management, it's kind of a good balance though of having portion control and again choosing healthy foods and choosing foods that are low in calories. When you think about trying to lose weight, one pound of fat equals 3,500 calories. So if you're trying to lose a pound, that's how many calories you'd have to cut out to lose that pound. So a realistic way to do that is divide that out between a week and so that would mean you'd have to cut down 500 calories a day. And the easiest way to do this would try to be to eat 250 calories less a day and try to exercise 250 calories more a day. So there you could lose a pound in a week. Um, try to make sure that for men and women, um, women try not to go under 1200 calories a day just because lower than that it's hard to get enough nutritional benefit from your food or get enough variety to get the nutrients that you need. And for men, try not to go under 1400 calories per day. When you're trying to lose weight, think about mindful eating. It helps us feel fuller more quickly when we know what we've eaten, when we really taste the food that we're eating and we enjoy it. Mindless eating, would examples of that would be eating in front of the TV or eating while you're on the computer or rushing through eating while you're at your desk at work. Taking time out to eat in a place away from those things and really concentrate on what you're doing can help you eat less. Another thing would be stop eating when you just feel satisfied. So don't keep eating until you feel full. Wait about 15 to 20 minutes and most likely you'll start to feel full by that time. Spread your intake out throughout the day, so make sure you eat regular meals, and if you still feel really hungry when you're coming to your meals, regular snacks can help you to feel less hungry when you're coming to your meals, and so that can help with portion control as well. Think about filling up on really low-calorie foods, like fruits and vegetables. Again, there's a lot of water and fiber in those products, so they keep you feeling full. And try to do things like drink water while you're eating your meals, or start your meal off with a low-calorie salad or a low-calorie broth soup so that you don't eat so many calories from the higher higher calorie dense foods. Make sure when you're, you're trying to lose weight that you try to get, like I said, good variety though. So we want most of our foods coming from nutritious foods and trying to limit those empty calorie foods, things like sweet foods and sugar and any type of added, added sweet to your diet as well as alcohol can be something that would be considered an uh, empty calorie. Try to maintain a good balance, though, of, like I said, the calories you burn and the calories you take in. So you got to have a lot of regular activity throughout the day. Don't just think about exercise, but think about how many calories do you burn throughout the day at home or at work, and how can you really try to increase those calories. Then on top of that, think about exercise. Most of us, especially people who have a sedentary job, probably need to get at least a half hour of exercise most days of the week and exercising being getting your heart rate up and, and getting your breathing up and things. So just remember when you're trying to lose weight it's a combination of having portion control of eating the right amount of calories but also trying to make sure you get that daily exercise. Now if you have any questions about how many calories you need in the day feel free to contact a dietitian and we can help you again come up with a weight loss plan to manage your weight and to help you stay healthy.